tanks, buddy. I used to do this like every day when I eat. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's a new one. I'm on. There we go. I think that's a sheep. It's got me in it. Oh, I'm out. There we go. What's up, y'all? I'm Matt Swiggum, and welcome to my channel, Salty Swigs. We are going sheep's fishing, baby. Sheep's at fishing, baby. <laughs> um, I am just leaving the marina right over here at um, Sportsman. So that's where I keep my boat over there, if y'all don't know, right here in Orange Beach, Alabama. Um, I do run charters and stuff, so if y'all are looking to do any fishing or dolphin cruises, let me know. But um, anyway. We're going sheepshead fishing. If y'all ever see me around there, holler at me. Say what up. If you haven't already, smash that like button down below. Please consider subscribing. Let's get out there. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna get rigged up before we head over to the spot. I'll be tying a dropper rig today using 30 pound Berkeley Fluoro Shield. This is um, a hybrid line, so it's got a mono core with a fluoro exterior. It's like the best of both worlds. It's still stretchy, but it's not real brittle like fluorocarbon is um, I love it so um, if you can't see that Berkeley fluoro shield check it out it's great stuff um, but we'll be starting with our braid to leader connection I like um, the improved Albright knot so you start out by making a loop here and you pass your braid through that loop like so and then you're gonna take this line and you're gonna start wrapping around the braid and the leader about eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. And then you're gonna take that end and you're gonna go up through the loop and wrap around the leader and the braid twice. I did um, read an article about the guy that invented this knot. I used to do that wrap right there five times, but you really only need to do it once or twice. Pull tight like this, wet it a little bit. Pull all three ends, cinch it down, test it. Set that knot. And then the great thing about this knot, what I like is the, well, if I could find my clippers, here they are. You can clip this knot super close. So you don't need any tag ends on it. It's really thin, narrow, streamlined knot. Super strong, especially if you learn how to tie it right. It's very fast. Test that again, make sure we didn't nick anything. You just don't want to nick that braid and that's that knot. It's super sweet knot. I love it. So, take off about eight feet of this. All right, I had to take my sweatshirt off. It's getting toasty right here. All right, so we're gonna tie the dropper loop. One double overhand knot loop at the bottom, and that's what we'll put our weight on. You just do an overhand knot, but you pass the loop through twice. Cut that tag end off, come up about 12 inches from there. Make another loop, about six inches long, like so. And then right where that loop makes that X, that crossing, you start wrapping it or twisting it about eight times. And then right in the middle there where there's that opening that you've been twisting, you take that loop and pass it through. And then you snug this up tight. Make sure you wet it though, because this knot has a lot of friction. Just pull it tight like that. And that's it so that's what your dropper loop will look like it'll have little wraps on either side that's the knot and then right here 
we're going to tie our hook on. So you pass your loop through that hook and then I like to tie a polymer knot right here. So you do an overhand knot with that loop. Take that loop, pass your bait or your hook through it, and then make sure that loops on the top of the knot and start cinching it down. Just like that. That is your dropper rig. So then we'll take our weight. Like so, I really like these weights. Um, these are tungsten lead weights. You just pass it through and put it over the edge. Just a little loop pass through there. But you can also use like these little um, bank weights or something with the eyelets on them. Um, this is a quarter ounce. Use up to like an ounce, two ounce in heavy current, deep water. Um, that's what we're going to. Um, so we are fishing heavy current, deep water. It's probably about 35 feet there, um, depending on where we're going to be set up in the area. Um, so I may move up in weight. This is a 3 8 ounce. But why I like these skinny weights is because you can get them out of snags just a little bit easier. Um, and this is a heavy structure area, so I do like fishing dropper rigs to keep my bait a little bit above all the debris and stuff that's down there keeps your hook from getting snagged on other things um, so we're going to fish this out there and i'll show you all how i kind of fish it um, it works well for fishing different depths of the column too because your bait won't drift off as much if you have heavier lead That's a sheet. It's got me in it. Oh, I'm out. There we go. That's why we fish this heavy leader. Yeet! Let's go. Let's go. There we go. That right there is your standard Alabamius lamb noggin. Other known as a uh, otherwise known as a sheep set uh they got really cool teeth y'all they're like human teeth if you can see that cool fish yeah we're not keeping today so this one's going back this would be a legal fish good hook set later buddy how's it going good just got one so far. Yep. Just let it go. Yeah. Just caught one. Three minutes ago, probably. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's a new one. Uh, so I own and operate Back Bay Charters, and I run out of Carib, okay. but um, probably 90% of what I do is just private dolphin cruises, island hopping, stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Not a ton of fishing. Um, mainly October through like the end of April, because I like catching sheep's head. And it's fun for people. It's you know, it's easy for them to get on and stuff like that. So no, not really. Yeah, that's why I don't have the reef sticker either. Because when I start like targeting fish for charters and stuff, mangrove snapper aren't really a big deal. So I got a master's hundred ton actually. Yeah. Um. So I used to work offshore um as a commercial diver out there so i got all my sea time offshore on like a big 300 foot dive vessel um so yeah 
I moved here in um, 2020, uh, originally from Green Bay, Wisconsin, but I, I lived in New Orleans for about 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You uh, said So, uh, July 2020. And that's basically when I started chartering and everything. Yeah. During the pandemic. And it wasn't that bad. Because I do um, private stuff. So no one wanted to be on the big public boats. Yeah. So it worked out. Right. It was like COVID Island on those things. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Matt, by the way. Okay. Nice to meet y'all. Yeah, I'll be out here. I'm out here all the time. Run across anything or got any questions or anything like that? Just call us. All right. Uh, sounds good. Resources. Uh, Roger. And Happy out do whatever we gotta do. Alright. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir. Nice Y'all have you. a good one. Yeah, just fiddlers. Yeah, you too. I just got the boat tied up to the bridge so I'm gonna jump up there and fish the eddies and stuff that are up there the kids are always on that side jumping off of it I thought you could get on it I used to do this like every day when I first moved down here like every day really yeah Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a thing. I mean, I did this for the entire 2020 winter. Really? Yeah. This is all I did. All right. I'll get down. That's a sheep, baby. Yeet. Let's go. Chill. Chill, homie. You're gonna go back. All right, just landed this sheep's head. Nice fish, probably about six. All right, just landed this sheep's head. Nice fish, probably about 16. Not huge. That's what we're going for. Let her go. 
All right, so I still am using that dropper rig, but I did just put a one ounce lead on it because the uh, tide's really rolling in now pretty good, so that water's ripping through here. And hooking these crabs um, is pretty easy. I like to just go right through the bottom here like that and then just barely have it poke out the top just like so and I like to leave the claws on sometimes I catch them on just a claw if I'm running low on bait we've caught them just on claws before so um, I leave them on some people like to rip them off I don't know why and um this actually would be a good application for one of those like swing swing jigs or knockers, sheep's head jigs, uh, heavy current, deeper water. Um, so that would be a good application for those. But I just I don't use them. I I break off so much sheep's head fishing. It's like I can't spend that much money on all these jig heads when I can just use a hook and a cheap piece of lead. It's like five times cheaper. Um, so that's my only reasoning behind not using that stuff. Uh, but to each his own, it works. a decent one. Let's go. Get out of here. good one probably 16 17 to the fork there great fish let's get a picture real quick later we're on oh it's a good one Let's eat this joker. Boom. Number four. Probably 15, 16 on this one. Um, so these fish, sheep said, they do have to be 12 inches to the fork. So not total length to the fork here in Alabama. And you're allowed to keep 10 of them. We're not keeping fish today, so we're just gonna let this one go. All right, so I just wanted to show you the combo real quick. This is my Daiwa Saltist uh, 3000 MQ. One of my favorite, actually it probably is my favorite um, spinning reel. And um, this is on my TFO. This is the um, Tactical Bass. This is a 610 uh, medium fast action rod. And I've got this spooled up with Berkley um, 9 or Berkley X9 um, 20 pound braid. And then I got those 30 pound leader on that dropper rig that we've been using today. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good fish, y'all. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Golly. <laughs> I mean, it's still a good one, but holy buckets. I thought it was way bigger. Fat one right there, y'all. 
And if you don't know, I got really weird teeth. They almost look like human teeth because they eat um, barnacles and crabs, obviously, shrimp, whatever that is. But um, man, they're cool fish. They're tanks. They are tanks. Tanks, buddy. Well, y'all, I hope you enjoyed it. Got after the sheep said today. That was so much fun sitting here at the bridge. Um, I hope y'all like that rig, the dropper rig. If you do, comment down below, or if you don't, tell me what you would use in this situation. Um, high current, deep water, it's about 33 feet here. So tell me what you would use. Y'all, if you haven't already, smash that like button smash that like button down below please consider subscribing i'm growing the channel now thanks to y'all thanks for all the support but please consider subscribing especially if you're new here and until next time y'all stay salty